get somebody, they love watching podcasts and then you start out and get them into a podcast and you make this compelling story and then you, you know, your presentation and the whole thing, boom, they don't even know they're being sold to. I love to do my podcast because I love to talk to people and I'm, I'm just a curious person by nature and I like to meet people. It's a great, I find it strange, but the podcast actually makes me meet a lot of people, enlarges my yeah. circle. And I learn so much when I talk to people like you and different people that they give me tidbits that I actually use in my business all the time. And I'm like, well, I might as well, you know, a lot of times I talk to clients and different people and I'm like, you know, I could just record this. And this is like so much value for people that, you know, uh, are listening, but I fight with myself because I, I like my privacy um mm -hmm. and also like where i'm from it's not like a huge city or anything so i just kind of don't want to be too much out there so it, it's almost like the the problem though is is you want to be out there because you want to promote your 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 podcast and you want you know listeners and stuff like that but then you don't want to talk about your personal life i find that you know being on social media myself like i don't like i'm on other networks other than Facebook, but I never really share that much on social media because people are like, well, you should be more out there and you have all this great content and all this stuff. I'm like, I thought I find at least on Facebook as a platform, it's almost like you have to tell people about yourself in order mm -hmm. To get order, them yeah. to want to follow, you know, your content. My content's good. We talk about good stuff. But that, you know, you know you somebody know. who, you know somebody that like that. Um, so like Alan Sultanic is, is is a really good friend of mine. I like talk to him. Like we talk personally. Like two, three o'clock in the morning, we'll just call each other up and talk, right? And like you don't know anything personal about him very much. He doesn't talk about his personal stuff. You know, and I've thought about you know perhaps doing like a, a Guru Brandon thing myself. Maybe um, I have sort of looked at at him as like because he really hasn't. Uh, the, the personal stuff is also something, I mean, I talk about personal stuff on Facebook a lot, but then I also kind of like how, what, and it would be a lot easier if you could just figure out a way to say, no, I'm not going to do it. And, yeah. um, and, and Alan has definitely done that. I mean, if you look at, um, in, uh, you know, and fast forward, it's the biggest mastermind group out there. I think probably, you know, at 20,000 bucks and he's got 500 people in there already. Wow. And so, I mean, he like banged it. So and, this is, um, this is, uh, the, the, just so, so listeners can kind of follow fast forward is Alan's, um, yeah, nothing held back. Uh, nothing, fast forward, yeah. So, so there's a Facebook yeah. group. It's called nothing held back. I'm in that group and he has yep. a mastermind that's built off of that. And that's the mastermind that you're in, right? You're yeah. okay. Yeah, so it, there, it's called fast forward. Yeah. And he's got nothing held back plus is also another one too. Okay. And what's, yeah. what's the, like, I mean, you and, and him, I know that you guys interact a lot. I've seen it like here and there on social media, but what, like, why did you, I'm, I'm curious, I'm taking the conversation differently, yeah, yeah. but I'm curious, why did you, I mean, you're a guy who's actually been in this space for so long. You're super experienced. You write, you know, you write fantastically. Like I said earlier, Chris Haddad, who's on the podcast said, you know, you're one of the best writers and you get a lot of praise for your writing and you're very successful. Why would you join a mastermind? Um. It's because Alan is 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 really he's really he, he's actually innovative. Um, you know, he actually does new stuff and does stuff that actually works. Um, and it, and it's not the same the same stuff what everybody else is doing. And um, he looks at things a lot differently. Um, him and I actually how him and I connected is um, I think I don't know for sure, but I'll, I'll take credit. You know, this this will be my okay. John Benson moment. Like, you know, John Benson created the VSL. I'll take credit for creating podcast VSLs okay. because what happened was in um, in 2020, I was getting ready to do uh, a promotion for a company and we were going to do something. It was going to be like set up. It was a, a current event kind of a thing and we were going to have it set up and it was based on this, you know, kind of a current event happening. And uh, we were going to do it like in the stage and make it look like it was like this Ted talk sort of presentation kind of thing. And obviously then, you know, Corona hits and, and we can't do that. And, uh, and also cause it had like this sort of like current element to it. Right. It didn't have, um, obviously nobody would believe it's current cause we're all like locked down for, for COVID. Right. Yeah. And I was sitting around, I was like, how, how do I still, what could I do? And, you know, blah, blah, blah. And then one time I was watching a, a podcast. I'm trying to think who, I think it was Tom Bilyeu. I was watching one of his podcasts and it was just a Zoom. And, um, and it was obviously just a Zoom. And I thought, huh. And because I was, responses is also starting to go down, like, you know, like some webinars and VSL stuff. And that's always, and, and like, the reason that, that, that it'll go down, right. Is because everybody, eventually everybody knows, Oh, you're, you're selling shit to me. This is a sales pitch. Bye. Sure. You know, yeah. See ya. This is a sales pitch. 
I said, you know, and like podcasting was just was really starting to pick up then, right? Like the people were starting to talk about like Joe Rogan. It was like, I'm not talking about like in our little community. Like I'm talking about like in the wider sense. Like it was starting to be in the news and stuff. So like yeah. everybody is actually starting to talk about it, right? It was like a thing now. And I was just like, I wonder like if I would take like this uh, this webinar and instead of doing it like this, and now we obviously can't do the the stage presentation. Like, I wonder if um if I just make it look like a podcast. And like, man, that thing just like, it went bangers. Like we had people getting like all the way through it, nailing us pissed off. Like, I didn't know you were just giving me a sales pitch. I was like, yes, perfect. That's exactly Success. what I wanted. Yes, exactly what I wanted. And I mean, sales were like crazy, banging, like four times better than it could have been any other way. And um and the podcast VSLs are still like that, man. They bang it. Well, but, because- you, have to, but you have to have the right person. Cause like I was talking to a couple people and uh, and they do work, but you have to have an audience that's into podcasts. And it's also better if people are used to seeing you on podcasts. It's better if they're used to seeing you as a guest, not a host. Okay. Cause then what you can do, because then what you can do is you can be like, hey, I was on this podcast, go check it out. And and what happens too is that people have like um they like to consume stuff in some way or another, right? Yeah. I personally like to read a book. So if I come across something in a book, I'm definitely going to I'll be like on it. That's probably my favorite way to consume something, right? Yeah. Uh or like even like old school direct mail would probably still get me because I like to hold something in my hand and read it, you know? That's me. That's my preferred way to consume. So and and if you get somebody on, they love watching podcasts, and then you start out and get them into a podcast, and they're like da 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 da, and you make this compelling story, and then you you know your presentation and the whole thing, boom, they don't even know they're being sold to. Hope you found today's session valuable. If you have any questions for me or just want to connect, please feel free to visit my website mariasparagis.com. That's m a r i a s p a r a g i s dot com. I'd love to hear what you're working on. So drop me a line on any hot button issues your business is experiencing. And remember, don't worry about failure. You only have to be right once. 